wow, what a stage this is. After two years of the pandemic, I'm a little bit more, I'm a little bit nervous, more than nervous actually, um, because it's my first talk after these two years, and I guess it takes a lot of enthusiasm, some braveness um, to have such, such an event with such a big audience. I really appreciate it. Mr. Li Pang, I don't know if, if I pronounce it right. Xie Xie Ni Mande Yaoxing, thank you very much for the invitation. And thanks for the opportunity to share some of the thoughts regarding the future of healthcare, smart healthcare, as we try to see things with you and the solutions that we uh, found with UAY. So, what I liked about the title of my talk, um, Data Infrastructure Innovation in Healthcare, like in any other business, or is it Data Infrastructure Innovation in Healthcare? Because I believe that infrastructure, uh, information system infrastructure, is one of the key aspects for modern healthcare for developing new treatments, new diagnosis as well, something we, um, we call super diagnostics. We need this infrastructure in order to develop um, new methodologies. So, where to start? Let's start with me or with uh, our organization. In 2015, we had a new CEO, Professor Werner, who decided to emphasize IT a lot more than it used to be. In former times, IT was just a fulfiller of the standard stuff, but now he said, no, IT must become a strategic component of healthcare. And therefore, he established a double-headed board in the IT. On the one hand, Professor Forsting on the top, who's a well-known radiologist and an opinion leader in his field in Germany, as well as an opinion leader within the institution. On the other hand, this, guy, this one needed a tech guy for solving the real field, the real world problems, like print is not printing or I killed the internet, so that's me. So, um, I had to introduce this video to show the city within the city. This is the University Hospital in Essen, and this uh, video was provided by a colleague of mine, and so far I had to show it, although the words are in German, please excuse me for that. But KPIs, in other words, uh, we, have a, we are a quite a large hospital, um, the largest uh, hospital in the Ruhr area, and this is the only um, key point that you have to take home. The Ruhr Metropole is one of the biggest all over Europe, with five million people living around 20 kilometers, and uh, 20 million people live in, in a circle of 50 kilometers. And 10,000 employees, so for me, 10,000 problems a day. Um, so what we really do is treating patients. And as many other hospitals, we have foci on oncology, transplantation medicine, cardiology, and so on. But let's have a look on oncology. Um, there's a common center, oncology is a rising problem, as well as uh, the getting older um, population. We have a good sentence that says, if the cardiologist keeps you alive and healthy, keeps your blood pressure down and so on, you'll end up at the oncologist. In Germany, we have about 500,000 new cases of cancer every year, regarding 80 million people. If you think, maybe we are 160 people in this room, so unfortunately, one of us will have this diagnosis this year. To make things worse, we are old, and we are mainly male, so the risk is even higher. And um, so taking this into, uh, into account, focus on long-term patients. Fortunately, our patients survive longer and longer, the transplant patients as well as the oncology patients. Um, we have to deal with them much longer. We aggregate a lot of data, and we have to make use of this data to generate wisdom out of the data or oh, information before. And then, this is kind of an internal marketing slide. In 2015, we called ourselves Smart Hospital. 
This was just to emphasize the strategic position where we want to go. We want to do things smarter. We want to introduce AI solutions in real time at the bad side and not in any laboratory and back end. And uh, we wanted to do this all for patients, for and for our employees, because a lot of employees are suffering from documentation, stress, and so on. Um, so we really put the patient, uh, the patient and the people in the foreground and uh, want to make life easier for them. So, and the other thing regarding Smart Hospital was the introduction of a new institute, the Institute for Artificial Intelligence and Medicine. Um, and there, um, in 2020, uh, we established four professorships with four different working groups working on machine learning and other AI uh, solutions as well as big data. Uh, for instance, in genome analysis, you're dealing with big data and so far uh, there's a lot of fun for our resellers uh, for storage as well as for compute power. And uh, for me, this is a really great perspective but a problem on the other side because I have to deal with all these problems and uh, to deliver the space and the compute power. So this was provided by Huawei for me and I, in the beginning I thought, well, I'm not going to show any marketing slices in my presentation, but on the other hand, when I read it, I thought, well, maybe I should just replace uh, the, uh, the icon and then this is what everybody needs. And so far, fits for me as well. And um, yeah, but instead of now showing Huawei solution uh, things, I just want to share with you what we did in the past. We, because I come from real-time, real-world problems, and, uh, one, and I had to solve these problems. And the one is um, we had to, make, uh, to migrate our exchange storage. As you can imagine, 10,000 users, uh, actually more than 20,000 um, uh, accounts on, on our devices, um, and we had to migrate the storage. So we had a couple of ideas what to do, have faster hybrid storage or anything else. But in the end, we bought an Ocean Store Dorado. And this was our very first experience um, with Huawei. And afterwards, um, we thought, well, we have another big uh, storage solution. It's an object store called Ceph. Well, uh, Huawei, do you have um, a solution for that as well? And so we added a um, 16 ton Shan server to the system, and now we have about 5 petabyte of data in this um, three um, shared solution of a three data center. Uh, we added these Taishan servers. Next step was we wanted to migrate our VMware background. Um, we are running about, um, I don't know, 2,000 servers, and um, 1,500 of them are virtualized. Uh, mainly running in VMware, and of course, the faster the backend is, the storage backend, the better the performance of the whole uh, company is. And then so far, after our experience with the first Ocean Store, we thought, well, let's buy another one. And um, then, uh, fitting to our Institute for Artificial Intelligence, we built our own data aggregation platform, where we aggregate, annotate, and harmonize our data. And of course, the faster the platform is, the smarter and the faster you can analyze the data and receiving new results. And so far, we bought a third and a second Dorado. Then, next step, last year, um, we had some nasty problems with our network, I have to admit that. And in a small step, we decided, well, let's decouple the edge um, network um, from the data center network, and we installed um, you have to help me, I guess it was 18 um, QoI switches as uh, the bone and uh, leaf switches in the network worked as well. We are fine with that. And also in the end of last, last year, uh, we bought a new, let's say, the, the, the data lake for everyone for unstructured data, a 1.8 petabyte Ceph storage um, just for the users. And this is an Ocean Store B600. And after all these experiences, we thought, well, now again, marketing slide, what's the pros and the cons and so on. But 
the main pro that I can say is, okay, we had six projects with Hui um, and it went out quite well. So in this year, we'll buy the next one, and this will be a really high-performance cluster of Ocean Store Pacific ones. Uh, it's said we will buy, but actually we want to buy, and still depends on what, uh, on what the offer will be. So I guess I, I made up some time, but um, I hope the, you acknowledge that. Um, so our experiences with the Huawei storage solutions are very, very good, and we are very happy with this solution. So the next step will, it, and this is half a petabyte of data, um, where we want to, uh, which we want to use for AI. Uh, for instance, we have uh, the whole PAX. Usually, this is stationary data, a PAX, so radiological image images. They don't have to be that fast. Huh? It's just sta stationary data. But if you want to use AI on these data, on thousands of thousands of images, then the faster the storage is, the sooner you, you will have results on your science. And so far, the whole system, and I, I can't see, even see already what the clinicians will say if the PAX is that fast, faster as it has ever been before, because this is a, just a secondary benefit of this solution. So, and th with this, I would like to finalize um, my talk. But the story will still, still be continued. Um, the Institute just uh, rented a new showroom in Essen, so you're invited to come to Essen to see the showroom, to see the solutions that we arranged over there. And there will be um, a convention as well, Emerging Technologies and Medicine, happening in June this year. You're invited to come in Essen to see some of our ideas on Smart Hospital and the future of healthcare. Thank you.